And I have to say, I serve as a proud member of the International Olympic Committee, but also the Gender Equality and Diversity and Inclusion Commission. I'm also a female, a Muslim, and an Arab woman. And these are all inextricably linked to my identity. And as such, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot serve with good conscience on this committee and remain silent on the media commentary on Iman Khalif. I'd like today to say that I wholeheartedly support Thomas Bach and everybody who worked towards com communicating the joint Paris 2024 boxing unit and IOC statement made on the 1st of August 2024. From my point of view, the facts are clear. Iman Khalif is a woman. She was born a girl and has lived her entire life as a female. However, despite this joint statement, there has been continuous misreporting based on incorrect information that has caused immeasurable pain. And this is not only unacceptable, but it's absolutely heartbreaking. From her childhood as a daughter of a loving family in rural Algeria, Iman has worked her entire life to become an Olympian, competing in front of the world. And it's a journey that those in this room know is filled with determination, grit, and persistence. And as is the nature of Olympians, she, was, she represents the most superior capability and capacity. And this is what makes these games so spectacular, and what makes Paris so spectacular. But nobody has the right to deny her her womanhood. And continuing to push false narratives against her is an attempt to rob her of her dignity and her merit. So I stand here today in front of this distinguished committee, and I say this can't continue. Women Olympians are elite. They train to be the best of the best, and it is that collective failure of all of us that we still have this conversation. And so I think this conversation is more paramount than ever. If a female stays silent, she's viewed as accepting the misreport or weak. If she speaks out, she's branded as defensive. And I believe athletes should be focusing on their performance not having to justify their existence. No athlete should be bullied or ridiculed for their appearance. No athlete should have their wins, the talent and the achievements that they've developed over a lifetime weaponized against them. Because what eclipses appearance, ladies and gentlemen, is talent. Talent that is only realized through training, sacrifice, and dedication. And these Olympics are a time to celebrate diversity with athletes hailing from all the corners of the globe. But ladies and gentlemen, you know, Women don't look, speak, or act singularly. Each woman is performing in her respective sport. She's unique. The only commonality is the determination to make it to the top. And when Iman won her quarterfinal fight and fell to her knees in tears, every woman that has ever felt isolated, mocked, or been told that they didn't belong, they fell with her. And when she rose, they rose with her. So today I offer my full support, not only to the IOC and the brave and bold statements that they have made, but to every female who's been subjected to unnecessary criticism in what should have been their time to shine and reap. And to the general public and to humankind, I ask that you look at women athletes and look at what they've endured and ask yourself, what if it was your daughter? What if it was your female friend or your relative? Your words matter and our behavior matters. Kindness and human dignity must prevail every single time. And to every girl who thinks she sits just a little outside of the box or outside of the norm, if you see a racket, pick it up. If you see a soccer ball, kick it. And if you see a track, run as fast as you can. Thank you.